Did she not actually shot on? I went to Jennifer's place so, and then she was saying that. So, what did Jennifer tell you? No, that they sold this clothes for somebody that, please, can I fit it so I can say that? Wow! 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 W
Partly to keep her me at, um, busy because she's been a little, a little bit antsy. Thank you, sugar. And, um, but yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do, we get some flour first. This coconut flour we're using. Stuart, I think the chair needs to be a bit closer to mommy. And the closer to the bowl. Look at the coconut flour, guys. Yes. Mm, can you see it properly? Yeah. Nice fresh coconut smell. You don't need too I mean, much young coconut flour. Coconut flour. Coconut flour. Two. A lot goes a long way. Apparently. I think this is. So Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. One moment. I'm just closing this. Don't shake anything. Thank you. Shake it. Shake it. <laughs> Alright. Pour this in there, please. Pour this in there. Whoa. We're in. Good all in. Okay, good stuff. So now we're gonna shake it. No, no, don't tip it over. Okay, shake it for me. Use this, use this handle to shake it. Rub it inside, yeah? Ooh, it's really working. And in here as well. Good. Don't pour the whole thing in, just wait. Hold this. Don't hold this, use the spoon please. Take a very tiny spoon. Very, ooh, is that tiny? Yep, that's perfect. Put it inside. Good job. That's all we need. That is all we need. That's it. Are you happy with that? You happy with that? Okay, okay let's see how much how many spoons. This is this is syrup. How many spoons of syrup? Ooh. Okay, yeah. Oh, oopsies. Are you ready? Look. Yes. Hold it. Hold, you can use your hand, other hand to hold this. Hold this. Like this. Whoa. We're squeezing it everywhere. One. Another one. Two. Two. Careful, please. Let's be gentle so it doesn't spill everywhere. And the last one. Three. Oh, I think that's enough. That's right. Great job. Whoa. Mix, mix, mix. You mixing? Mix, 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 mix. This is not really mixing, but okay. This looks so soft. Okay, let go, let go, let go, stop. Stop licking. Mm. This is not, you're not supposed to be licking right now. Pharaoh me. Mm. No. <laughs> Pharaoh me. That is not part of the plan. The butter that has not melted in this muffin. Pharaoh mm. me. This must be smooth. Mm. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Is it yummy? Yummy. Mm. You're sweating. You're so hot in here. Mm. Okay. Yay! Yeah. Don't, don't touch it. We're going to put it in the oven. So. I want to go into the library. You looking forward to going into the library? Library. Yeah, yeah you looking forward to going to the library? Hi, baby. Yeah. Hi, Nutella. Guys, so this vlog may 
whole may not make any sense to you right now because I feel like it's just a collection or collation of events that I'm just showing you guys. I'm just showing you guys, I'm just showing you guys a mixture of all stuff of events and everything going on that I've been doing. But you know, hopefully you guys enjoy it and don't insult me in the process. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm gonna show, I said, I did a video, like I think, I can't remember, I did a video earlier on, it's, it's on my channel, it's there. And I made some, what did I cook again, no, stew. So I made stew, like Nigerian stew, and it was delicious. And I didn't put any um, stock cubes or anything in it. And I'm gonna show you guys now what exactly I put that made it still so delicious without any stock cubes or anything. So yay! Doing a dance, doing a jig. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna show you my dance. So here's what I have. Nutmeg, fresh garlic cloves, auguri, which is um, fermented sesame oil seeds. Very good for you. Stinks, but very, very flavoursome and it gives your food so much flavour. So does the iru, which are um, fermented locust beans, ginger, ginger dry, <laughs> dry fish powder, which is just crushed, um, curry powder. I think I already said the crayfish. Plenty of crayfish. I, I said the t and thyme and I to lock the door because she's distracted me and confusing me, and I'm repeating myself like a hundred times. Um, so what was I saying? I think I've mentioned all the ingredients. And this is like another ingredient that I bought in the store, which is fantastic. It's an Indian rub by some company called, I don't know the company, but anyway, I'll share it with you just because I think it's really good. Um, it's got, there's no, again, there's no MSG in here. It's got all these um, sort of coriander. It's got some salt in there though, and sugar. It's garlic, ginger again, cumin, chili, turmeric, onion, black powder, fenugreek, cardamom, caraway, cinnamon, bay leaves, cloves, and white pepper, all, which are all things I could actually get without having to buy this, and you could actually get without having to, without, without, without having to buy this as well, So, which is another reason why I like it, but I like it because it's all in there for me, and it's a bit of a cheap way, but I would get more fresh stuff. Um, but anyway, let me do it. What I do, I'm going to crush my garlic. I like to crush it. Crush them. I put some ginger. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hi. Hi. Mommy's cooking. Mommy's cooking. <laughs> Please, one second. There you go. This is the ogiri. This is the ogiri, and it's like super. Let me even do this. Oh, can you see me? This is the auguri. It looks nasty. It looks like mud. Like, it stinks as well. But trust me, this thing, our, you know, my ninja peeps. This thing is, if you know, you know, this thing is a shiz. I'm not sure if, if you guys in, um, like, from other African countries or anywhere, if you use something similar to this, if you know anything about this, comment below, let me know. Because I'm, you know, I'm going to use like two like bags of it or whatever. It's proper stinky, but mate, this thing, yeah, it's, it's the shrews, it's the beers. Let me show you how it looks. This is how it's looking. It looks nasty. 
I need some fish powder. And a bit of that. I need some crayfish, a lot of crayfish. A lot, a lot of crayfish. I use that. Some, some herbs. It's like a herb or something. Um, add in this Indian rub. Hold that as well. And and some thyme. Ooh, geez, is it coming out? Okay, that's the thyme. That's the thyme, oh! Some curry powder. I actually normally add some turmeric as well, but um, we already had turmeric in the Indian rub. So I'm gonna add some nutmeg. Just a little bit. And I think that's it. That is it! What are you thinking? Is this it? Yes, indeed. This is it. This is the big deal. I'm like, yeah, that's actually it. So literally, it's nothing. The ingredients are not that special in that regard, but you'd be surprised that oh, this is all you need to save yourself from chemical. I almost, I almost forgot another vital ingredient. Am I all right? Yes. The locust beans. Can you imagine? How can I almost forget that? The locust beans, the iru, the iru, another vital ingredient. Can you imagine? Can you actually imagine? Surely imagine, Sha. Say this i've got to say this because i've just so let me just say something can i just say something i've just put the seasoning in i'm making jollof and so i put the seasoning inside the pepper it's not ready the pepper is not ready but mate after i put the seasoning in it tastes mad and i'm not hyping myself guys i'm not hyping myself you need to see this it just let me see you need to taste this you need to just please just try it i need some i need some of you to try it try it and come back and tell me what it was like try it please just try this it's just it's amazing honestly honestly try it and I can get if you try it and you do it and you use the same ingredients or close enough, I can guarantee you, you'll never go back to stock cubes again or MSG cubes again. Let's just say that.